In this video, I'm going to discuss how to calculate a sample size when you try and estimate a population proportion. And you might have a prior estimate of that proportion, or you may not. So we'll talk about both uh, ways to calculate it. Okay, so let's read through this example. Mary wants to estimate the percentage of people in the U.S. that self-identify as Christians. So a prior study showed that 65% of Americans self-identified as Christians. How many people does Mary need to sample to be 95% confident that her estimate is within three percentage points of the true population percentage of Christians in the U.S.? Okay, so there was this prior study, 65%, and basically what Mary is trying to do is update that study. Okay, so how many people does she need? So let's write down the formula uh, for sample size, the sample size calculation. It's 1 minus P times P times Z over E, and then this guy is squared, okay? And this Z could be subscript C, or depending on your textbook, it might be subscript alpha divided by 2, okay? And they're the same thing. Okay, so what is P? P is the proportion if you already were given a prior study of that proportion, uh, that, that's what P is, okay? So right now P will be equal to 0.65. Don't forget you need to change that percentage into a proportion. Okay, so 0.65. Uh, what is E? E is your margin of error, right? And we want to be, her estimate wants to be within three percentage points. Okay, so she's accepting a three percentage point margin of error. Okay, so you need to change that three percentage point into a proportion, right? How do you go from percentage to proportion? You divide by 100, so that's 0 0.03. Okay. So the last thing that this formula needs is Z. Z alpha divided by two or Z subscript C. This depends entirely on whatever your confidence level is, okay? So we are 95% confident. So what is Z for the 95% confidence level? It's 1.96, uh, okay? Which remember, you can find that um, by drawing out your normal distribution, you have whatever your confidence level is in the middle, 0.95, okay? And left for the tails, alpha is 1 minus 0.95, which is 0 0.05. So you have 0.05 left for both tails. You need to break that in half because you have symmetric distribution. So this is 0 0.025 on both tails, right? And you can go to Excel and say, okay, well, what is this, if, if uh, this Z value where 0 0.025 is less than it. So this is the negative Z value and this is the positive Z value. So if I go into Excel and I type in equals norm dot S standard normal distribution inverse, the probability to the left was 0 0.025. And that's how we got that 1.96. Right, so the negative, the negative version is what Excel will tell you because you gave it this area to the left here. Uh, so just take it to be positive, 1.96, okay? All right, so I think calculating that Z value is probably the hardest part of this whole thing because once you have these three pieces, then you just need to plug it into this, everything into this formula and you have your answer, okay? So let me go to Excel and I'm gonna use Excel as my calculator. So let me go ahead and move this guy down here. So we have P is 0 0.65, E is 0 0.03, and Z is 1.96, okay? And so our, our sample size, N, Type in equals open parentheses for this first open parentheses, one minus P, one minus, just click on the cell that has P in it, times 
p so again just click on the cell that has p in it times open another set of parentheses z alpha divided by 2 so this is the z guy divided by e right here is e close parentheses the caret squared okay so let's look at this carefully we have 1 minus b1 is the p value times p times b3 is the z value divided by e which is the b2 okay so i'm just clicking on the cells then press enter and there we go we get our sample size now you always round sample size calculations up you can't have 0 0.035 of a person so you always need to round that up so that's 972. mary is going to need to find 900 and 72 people to sample and ask whether or not they are Christian. Okay, so what do you do when you don't have a prior estimate of the uh, proportion? Okay, because remember our equation is one minus P, P, Z, alpha divided by two over E squared. Okay, if you don't know what P is, so this is the exact same example, we just don't know what P is. They don't give us a prior estimate of P. What we do is we always just plug in half, right? You're unsure, so just plug in P equals 0.5, okay? Uh, our Z value won't change if we're still doing a 95% confidence interval, and our E value, our margin of error, they still want it to be within three percentage points. So 0 0.03, okay? So I would have 0.5 times 0.5 and then 1.96 over 0.03 squared okay so if I go into Excel I actually can just change this p-value here instead of being 0.65 I can have 0.5 press enter and actually everything will update that's one of the nice things about Excel uh, it automatically updates based off what you've given it so there we go uh, you could also just plug this into your calculator. You'll get the exact same thing. So 1,067.07, you can't have 0 0.07 of a person. So 1,068. If she has no prior estimate, she's gonna need 1,068 people to ask whether or not they are Christian.